Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I've been running my CNC for just about a year now. And the first file I ever cut is actually this Batman logo right here. I was super nervous. I had no idea how to set the file up, but I managed to do that. So then of course, in my mind, I'm an expert now. So I searched Etsy, tried to find a couple files that I really liked. Wasn't sure exactly what I wanted, but I wanted something with a little bit more detail something a little harder to do and well that's exactly what i found i decided to purchase this ego file here and i love the way it looked but it definitely looked a little intimidating i wasn't sure how to do bit changes i wasn't sure how to assign different tool paths i didn't know about bit sizes eighth inch quarter inch i had no idea how to cut this so i ended up sitting on this for probably about a half a year until i felt confident enough after running my CNC to be able to cut this. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how I broke this file down and how the order in which you break it down in the correct step matters in your final product. If you break it down incorrectly, you might not get everything aligned. And then you can choose whether or not you wanna run this from center or lower left corner. That can be your choice, but this is four different tool paths. You got your detail, your stars, your profile, and then your keyhole. So stick around and hopefully this can help you feel a little bit more confident with your cutting and you can get into something like this. It's really not that hard once you think about it, once you really break it down, you'll be able to do this no problem. I'm ready here to import my file. I've gotten the one that I chose from Etsy. First thing you need to do is set up your material. I want mine to be about 16 inches. The length isn't all that critical if I have a little bit left over, but I know my width is pretty tight. That is seven and a quarter. And then I want it to be three quarters of an inch thick, which it already is, so that's perfect. So now I will bring in my eagle, and there it is. You can see it's got some really good aspects of this. It's got your stars. It's got a pass going around here, which just adds some more detail. Then obviously you have your stripes. So this eagle is going to end up looking pretty good. So I'm going to make sure I highlight it all. Then I will center to the material. Once I know that I'm centered, I can open up some more work pieces down here on the bottom. So I'm going to end up opening a total of four. I'll show you why in a second. So we go back here to our imported file. We take the outline pass. We're gonna cut that, bring it over to our third piece. We're gonna paste. So there's our eagle cutout. Go back to our imported file. You can either highlight all these stars individually or the easier way is just to leave the stars behind and remove all the rest. So you highlight all that. You can see everything has a box around it. So then you can edit, cut that, come over to your second piece and paste that right there. So now we've got this pass here, which is going to be done with an eighth inch bit. You can see that gives it pretty good detail along with all these feathers along here. Then we have our full depth cutout. So we're gonna highlight that. You need to make sure that your bit can reach the full depth. I know mine can't, mine is only, I'd say just under three quarters of an inch. It might be like 0.7 deep. So I know I won't be able to do a full profile cut here. So I changed my bit to quarter inch and then that way I can do a full depth. You can see I'm not doing a full depth cut here. So I will highlight that. I will come over to cut and I will just drag this all the way down. And now I know I have a full depth. You can look over here in the preview window. You can see error. It's exactly what we want. We wanna go back over here to our detail pass. We wanna make sure this work piece is set up correctly. So I will highlight everything and then I will set my depth. My depth I want to be an eighth of an inch, which I have right there, 0.125. This is a pocket. And I just need to make sure that my eighth inch bit is selected, which it is. If you try to cut this with a quarter inch bit, you can see how thin this piece in here gets. And then how, I don't know, cartoony these wings and the feathers look. So if you come back over to your eighth inch bit, select that, you can see these look a lot better. These look like feathers. And this piece in here is thicker, so that won't possibly break off. So that right there, that's pretty good. That's got a lot of detail there. So this piece is set up. We know that our profile cut is set up. 
You can see the air around the eagle. That means it's going to be a full cut. Come back over to the stars and you can see these definitely aren't stars. So we need to switch this to a V-bit. You can either go 60 or 90. I found that 90 degree makes a much nicer star. You can see how crisp this is going to end up being. I believe when this cuts, it's going to plunge down. It'll make like sort of a, a pocket right here in the middle. Then it'll just dip all the way down here to the deepest point, and then it'll kind of drag back and up. It's kind of a cool process. I'll show you guys a close-up of that. The final thing we need to do is set up this fourth workpiece. So we're going to need the eagle profile, so we copy that. We paste it here into our fourth and final window. Now, because this keyhole is going to be in the back, we need to flip this horizontally. So now the eagle is looking to the right because this is the back. Highlight that. Bring up the apps. Scroll down to keyhole generator. We want one keyhole. Vertical. Our depth is important. I know that with my keyhole bit, it has to be 0.3, and that gives a perfect keyhole. So we set that to 0.3. Length of cut, one inch is fine. Spacing doesn't matter because I only have one. So we import that. Here is the keyhole. So we just drag this up. And I know that from experience, it needs to be just off centered toward the back of the eagle's head. I know this is the back of the eagle's head. So as long as it's just off center, it's pretty close. I think that works just fine. So once we have this right where we want it, we can highlight the outline and get rid of that. That was just to kind of help us lay out this keyhole. When setting up this detail on this keyhole, this is critical. You need to go to settings, manual, and now your depth per pass needs to get changed to the depth that we already set, which was 0.3. So I'll show you guys a preview of how this keyhole is going to work. The bit's going to come down. It's going to plunge to full depth. It's going to make its cut all the way along here. Then it's going to come back to where it plunged, and it's going to reverse out. So I will hide the material, and then I will show you just the tool pack. So the bit's going to come over here. It's going to come down. It's going to ramp down, shoot all the way over, make its keyhole slot, come back, and then reverse back up and out. And that way we have a full depth right there. You can see that blue. That is just one depth all the way down, which is what we want. And there's our keyhole. So now that all these files are set up correctly, all you need to do is save them to your thumb drive, name them correctly. So a quick note, all of my files here are being ran from lower left corner. You can do this one of two ways. You can either go lower left corner or you can go from zero. That option is up to you, whatever you choose to do, but just make sure that all of these are set up the same way. If I were to choose to do this from zero, I would have to have my file back in here exactly how I would want it. Then I would just change my position to zero and zero. And then I would just break my file down the exact same way. I would cut that, paste that, that'll be right there at zero. And then all of my stripes and my detail, cut that paste that, bring that over to zero. So if I don't move this first and I take all of these individual pieces out, let's say I took that, move that to another workpiece, took all that, move that to another workpiece, and now I wanted to set this to zero. If I go and set this to zero, it's not gonna be in the right spot. It actually centered these stars on zero and not the entire piece on zero. See, so if I overlay this detailed piece in here, you, you can see these stars are not where they need to be. So the easiest way to do it is set your whole file back on zero first. So set your entire file to zero. Now I know my stars are where they need to be. Now I can start erasing pieces and now I know my stars are going to be the exact placement they need to be. 
So just make sure you're setting this up exactly where you want it to be, either from zero or lower left. Save it to your thumb drive, get it over to your CNC, and cut away. So there we go. That's a pretty great looking file there. Follow my steps here and just break this down correctly. Tell your CNC exactly what you want it to do and in what order you want it to do it. And you will end up with a perfectly cut file just like this. Before you know it, you'll be cutting these in your sleep. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Think about hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.